Full weather here for this weekend, mostly sunny skies. As I mentioned earlier, it's a lot warmer this morning. We're both meteorologists. While we geek out over weather systems and look for ways to protect the planet, we can also appreciate the science Cheers. of great craft beer. You can use math and you can use science to be a better brewer. Aaron Justice is the brewer, owner, and co-founder of East Village Brewing, alongside owner and co-founder Brandon Green. Their story starts many years ago at Ballast Point, where they met on the packaging line, working their way through the ranks. They always asked themselves, what if? What if they could own their own brewery? It would be a sustainability first operation with carefully crafted wholesome ingredients. And here they are. Kind of just hits you, hits you what, uh, what we were able to create. It did not come easy. From bringing in the tanks. We trucked down from Carlsbad four at a time, forklifted them through the door, lifted them, set them. To building some of their outdoor furniture. And you're literally building the tables as we speak. <laughs> we interrupted your building session. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but you're preparing for a lot of people to show up here. So gearing up for baseball. This is all a labor of love. So there was a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that went into this place. And a lot of thoughtfulness. All the wood elements in the tasting room are from recycled wood. In fact, this bar top is a Tory pine wow. that fell, uh, I think it was in Chula Vista. <laughs> it got Amazing. repurposed Look into at furniture. That. It's beautiful. Sustainability, clearly a big part of their operation here. In fact, you'll notice that when you buy their six packs. Take a look at these tops. They're made of all recycled material and the labels. They're not shrink wrapped. In fact, they go to a solar powered printing company here locally to minimize the amount of waste. And what he puts inside these cans gets Aaron very excited. So you see some bubbling right there. This is probably about halfway through fermentation. Brewing where people can drink their beers, Aaron will proudly tell anyone who asks about their operation. We only source in ingredients from farmers that we know have sustainable practices. We keep it just to, to the four ingredients, mm -hmm. barley hops, yeast, and water, and just try to keep it as simple as possible. They've even collaborated with San Diego International Airport, using water from their air conditioning system to brew a beer called Pre-Check, a Czech-style pilsner. Next up, a Hoppy Travels IPA. The water that they collect from the air conditioner condensate is as pure as rainwater. Nice. So really, you just have to remove the organics to make it brewable. He makes it all sound so simple, right? Making science easy to swallow. Now brewing with all that knowledge and people are noticing. East Village Brewing won gold at the prestigious Great American Beer Festival for a Ukrainian-style kvass. We partnered with uh, Izola, the bakery uh, yeah. just down the street, and we used 30 sourdough loaves in our brew. But before a game at Petco Park, their ballpark special is a must try. And for fellow lovers of hops. Brandon and I love IPAs, mm -hmm. so I hope it shows. It's all about the summit. <laughs> that is a good one. But they encourage you to come try it all for yourself. For CBS 8 at East Village Brewing, I'm Netta Iranpour. Uh, oh, cheers to that. Yes, so that uh, hoppy one, the yes. IPA that they were making, uh, the Summit is what it's called. They kept saying, we need hoppier, we need hoppier. Mm. Each time they'd make an IPA, they have reached the Summit. That's they why they got that name. The summit. <laughs> and they're yeah. canning it. They, he actually just sent me a picture yesterday because he knew how big of a yeah. fan I was of that beer. They've got it canned and ready. They're opening awesome. at, what time is it? Not quite 10 a.m. Okay. They're opening at 10 a.m. So that's go. where you can.